Assalamu alaikum students, how are you all? I hope you all well with the grace of Almighty Allah. I am your English language teacher, Sama Sitar. Today I would like to start off with a new chapter as the science of objectives to know chapter number 5. First of all, let's have a clear idea about what is an objective. An objective is a word which describes or modifies nouns or pronouns in a sentence, which normally indicates quality, the size, shape, duration, feelings and many more of noun or a pronoun. In other words, we can say adjective is a describing word. Let's come back to our topic, kinds of adjective. Adjective are of different kinds. There are many kinds of adjective which are as follows. A descriptive adjective, demonstrative adjective, possessive adjective, adjective of quantity, numeral adjective, and interrogative adjective. Let's begin with descriptive adjective. A descriptive adjective describes the nature or characteristics of a person, animals, or thing. This provides the information or the attribution to the noun or pronoun. In other words, they modify or describe the noun or pronoun present over there. It also uh, describes about the quality of a noun or pronoun, thus it is also termed as an adjective of quality. Like, for example, Abhinay is an intelligent boy, we can say, the adjective intelligent is describing the word abhile, which is a noun. Next, let's come to a demonstrative adjective. What is demonstrative adjective? Demonstrative adjective is used to demonstrate or point to a particular person, animals or thing. It refers directly to the person. It refers directly to something or someone, which includes these, that, these and those. Wherever you will find these words, you will just underline it and write demonstrative adjective. Like this dress is on sale. Those students are waiting to see you. Next, we have possessive adjective. Possessive, in other sense, it is also termed as possession or ownership, which is yours, which is mine, or which is theirs. Adjective is used to is, uh, this adjective is used to show that something belongs to someone. The possessive adjectives are my, your, are, his, here, and there. It describes the possession or ownership of someone or something. Like, is this your bag? It is uh, showing the ownership or it is showing the possession of your and bag. Their house is just around the corner of the street. It is describing the house. Which house? Uh, whose house is it? It is their house. We can also question possessive adjective with whose and we get the answer. Whose back is this? This is your back. An adjective of quantity. By the term quantity, we can understand it indicates the amount. This um, indicates the amount. It does not indicate the exact number. An adjective of quantity includes some, many, much, more, less, Several, a few, a little, a lot, or enough. It can it describes the quantity of noun or pronoun, and it cannot be counted. If we question with how much or how many, we get the answer of adjective of quantity. Like many students were interested in the computer course. How many students were interested in the computer course? Many students. There are enough biscuits left for everyone. How many biscuits are left? There are enough biscuits left. Next, we come to a numeral adjective. A numeral adjective gives the number of a noun and shows the place of a noun in a sequence. It also tells us about how much, how many, or in what order the noun is in, and it can be counted. Adjectives of number include 1, 2, 3, 4, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, etc. Here, we have to have we have to cite the difference between adjective of quantity and adjective of number or numeral adjective. We always get confused between these two. Like uh, if we can count, then it's adjective of number. If we cannot count, it's adjective of quantity. Like two boys are playing cricket outside. The first match will be played tomorrow. Here, two boys can be counted. One, two, two boys, and the first match. It can also be counted. So, here, numeral of adjective gives the number of a noun and it can be counted as well. 
last but not least we have an interrogative adjective by the word interrogative we can understand it is termed for an interrogation or question if we ask question to noun or pronoun interrogative adjective is used an interrogative adjective is used to ask a question about a noun and a pronoun as well if an uh, interrogative adjective like what which whose if it is not followed by a noun or a pronoun then it won't be an interrogative adjective an interrogative adjective has to follow a noun or a pronoun if it is not followed by a noun or pronoun it won't be considered as an interrogative adjective it's an important point you should remember like whose diary is this whose is the interrogative adjective and diary is a noun so whose diary a uh, diary is followed by an interrogative adjective whose so this is an interrogative adjective let's cite an example without an uh, without a noun like what is your name you are not getting the word uh, uh, you are not getting the word of noun after the interrogation word like what after what you are not getting the noun what is your name is uh, after what you are not getting noun or pronoun so it's not an interrogative adjective you should know this clearly so after a uh, wh question you should have a noun then only it will become an interrogative adjective i hope you all have understood kinds of adjective and enjoyed watching the video and you have understood each and every detail word which i have taught you in this uh, video if you have if for the extra knowledge for the extra uh, knowledge i supplied to you all you can write it down in a piece of paper and it would be helpful for you for future so let's end the video here let's meet in the next video we we'll meet in the next video bye bye